true marriage is a secret institution. The power thereof has to be sought out by faith. But to them it has not been given, for the one who has, more will be given. The more you seek it out, the more you find it. The more you find it, the more you can't believe how incredible this is. The more I know Jesus, the more I just want to church and sing and worship and, <laughs> and I have to work and I have to pay my bills, but the more, the more I get with God, the more I understand the power of God. For the one who has, more will be given and, the, and he will have an abundance, but from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand, it seems strange to them. Indeed, in their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled. You will indeed hear, but you will never understand. I'm speaking to two people who understand the promises of God. I'm trying to push you into a moment of faith to say the best is ahead of us. We're going to stretch out our tent pens. Our expectation for marriage is going to break every rule that we've grown accustomed to. God's going to do good things through us. And if you believe the promise, this is what you do. Verse 44 of the same chapter. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field which a man found and covered up and then in his joy he goes and he sells all that he has and he buys that field. That is what marriage is. Marriage is to sell all other options, all other opportunities, to give up every other avenue and every other road because I have found a treasure next to me. Hidden in a field of humanity, hidden in a field of difficulty, hidden in a field of fighting, hidden in a field of disagreements, it's gonna be there. I'm willing to buy the whole field because I, I have seen the treasure. I had the revelation of the treasure is why I'm here. And if you believe that, the treasure will shine forth because God causes it to shine forth.